everyone welcome back so today we'll be creating and configuring an Azure load balancer so this is the architecture that we're going to create so for this there are five different tasks that we're going to create today the first one is we'll be creating a virtual network and in that virtual network we're going to create a backend servers and also the load balancer and we'll create uh, resources for that in this case it's the vms that we have created here and in then we'll test the load balancer so i have created the architecture already so i'll try to explain like what i have done so just to save the time while creating so i just uh, created it before so coming to the virtual network this is the virtual network that i have created so you can directly go to the search bar and select the virtual networks and uh, you can click this this is the uh, dashboard that you're gonna get so just go to click create one and select the relevant uh, Azure subscription that you have and the resource group in this case uh, this is the resource group that I have used so select that and the name in this case I'll just use a sample because I'm not going to create but I'm showing you how I have created so coming to the next one so coming to the IP address range so let me give that IP address range here So this is the IP address range that I have given. And uh, so it's already created, so that's the reason showing the error. But however, once it's done, you have to add the subnets. In this case, I have added uh, the first subnet name is my backend subnet. So this is the subnet that I have used and uh, the next and I have used the relevant uh, address for this let's add this and after this I have created the other one which is my friend and subnet so let me add that one as well so and coming to the IP let me add the IP to so once it's done just click add so basically uh, the front end uh, IP configuration is for incoming traffic and whereas the back end IP is for uh, receiving the traffic so this is done and coming to the let's go to the security and in that security I've created the the patient host in this let's create uh, the name so name and the relevant IP address so in this case coming to the public I don't have any so you have to create one in this case I already have it so it's already associated so I'm just uh, showing uh, showing you how to do that or you can just create you can just give a name and just click OK so it will be created so in this case I'm not doing that and uh, I'm just leaving it default and just go and review and create in this case I'll be getting error however oh I think that okay there is just error here so however uh, I'm not creating this so this is how I created the virtual uh, network so let me go back to this one so this is the network that I have created so once this is done you have to create the backend servers in this case uh, we have used RM templates so you have to go to the cloud shell which is here you can see the box here right so you just click here and uh, you can see there is a command prompt that we have got so you have to upload certain files here so these are the files that I have uploaded so you can just click here and you can just click upload select one by one so once uh, this vm1 vm2 and vm3 is done and also use the azure deploy uh, .json file so i'll be providing the link below so just download them uh, download from them and uh, upload it here and use the command so let me show you the command So this is the command uh, that I have used so for this particular resource group we are going to create three different VMs so that is uh, 
VM1, VM2, and VM3. So it will take uh, like 10 to 20 minutes. So once it's done, uh, I'll just show you. So yeah, so th these are the, wait. Uh, so these are the three different machines that we have created uh, using that particular command. So you just need to copy and paste it. It will be done uh, within 10 to 20 minutes. So once it's done, we have to add it in the backend pools. So back in, in the backend pools, uh, we usually add these VMs. So yeah, so, uh, so before that, like you need to create the load balancer. So just to show this, I have told that. So in this case, you have to create the load balancer. So just click load balancer. Okay. Uh, So this is the load balancer I have created already. You can create one. So you have to use your Azure uh, pass, which is valid and uh, select the resource group that we have created and give the name. So let me give the same name, but add one inside it. So is US standard and uh, type public and internal. So basically, uh, if you see, you can use this internal load balancers to balance the traffic uh, from private IP address, whereas the public load balancers can balance traffic uh, originating from the public IP address. So this is the main difference uh, here. So in this case, we are using the internal. So select the internal and uh, everything is just leave it like that. And coming to front end IP, uh, you have to uh, add this. So add and uh, just a sample uh, and uh, so coming to the virtual subnet you can see here we have one front end subnet that we have created before uh, click that and dynamic and just leave it so you have to add this so once it's done so you have to go to the backend pools and you have to add the resources so you'll be getting the VMs uh, so just name some name like backend pools here whenever you click oh uh, sorry yes, uh, yeah so whenever you click try so you can see the VMs so right now these VMs are uh, allocated so to the other load balancer uh, that is the reason you couldn't see them but uh, yeah, you can just add, directly add them in the backend pools. So once it's done, you can directly create. So this is how we can create the load balancer. Now I'm just removing it. And I'm going to my load balancers that I've created. So yeah, this is my load balancer. And here you also need to create a health probe. So which you can see, you just need to click. So I already created the health probe here. So basically, uh, you know, the load, the load balancer monitors the status of your app uh, with the health probe. So the health probe adds or removes the VMs from the load balancer based on their response to the health checks. So that is the reason we create these health probes. So, so this is the configuration that uh, I have created. So according to the Microsoft Docs. So once that is done, Oh, shit. So once uh, the health probes is done, you have to go to the load balancer rules. So base, uh, so yeah, here you have to create the rule. So basically the load balancer rule is used to define how traffic is distributed to the VMs. So you define the front end IP configuration for the incoming traffic and uh, the back end for the uh, receiving traffic. So, so I have already told you before, like uh, in the starting of the video. So this is the configuration that I have created, and uh, yeah, once this is done, we have to uh, test the load balancer. For that, I have created the test VM. So if we go to the all resources. 
so these are the different resources that uh, has been created uh, so here is a test vm so this is the test vm that uh, we have created with uh, with using a with, with using a mass test user and pass uh, with the password so once you create test vm try to connect it with uh, bastion and uh, let me add the username and password uh, so just try to connect it So well, now we have our VM. So go to the Explorer and try to use the private IP that we have got here. So let me go back. Where is the load balancer? And you should have the private IP here so this is the private IP that we have got so wait. I don't know why it's not pasting but uh, you can see now we have got uh, VM3 try to refresh this So usually when there is a load, it, it will change to VM2 or uh, the other VM which is there. So right now it's the same, but uh, it, it will change accordingly. So let me try once again by restarting the VM. We have the test user and stuff. Okay, connect. Now let's try this. Now we can see we have got VM one. So let's try to refresh. So you, as you have seen uh, before, we have caught VM3 and now it's VM1. So based on the load, uh, it will be allocating accordingly. So I hope you guys have understood the concept. So yeah, this is how uh, it, the process is. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, creating and configuring an Azure Load Balancer. So hope you guys have understood the concept. If you have understood, please like the button below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys. I guess it's disconnected. <laughs> okay.